Hello everyone. Welcome back to Veloxi Technologies. My name is Shankar. In this video, I'm going to tell you how we can set up a DevOps CI CD pipeline using various DevOps services. This is a web series. I'm going to start preparing videos from the simple CI CD pipeline setup to a complex CI CD pipeline. So it may take few weeks. You need to follow our web series to fully understand how a production ready CICD pipeline setup, how to do that one. Let's see what services we are going to use to set it up. So these are the services which I'm going to use across this web series. We are going to build the Java code. So we don't write the Java code. We'll take it from the developers and we'll push it into the Git. From Git, we will build by using the Maven and Jenkins, and also we run the JUnit test cases, and it get released through Jenkins, and we use Ansible as a deployment tool. It get deployed into the AWS, and uh, we are going to do the use the containerization services, so Docker and Kubernetes. We are going to introduce, then Nexus as a artifacts repository and Sonar Cube. Uh, to monitor your code and also we use the nagiets to monitor your infrastructure these are the services uh, which we are going to use this in this web series and uh, initially we'll start up with setting up a simple ca cd pipeline so assume that developers are already developed their code then we are going to push it into the git and uh, that code will get built and tested will deploy initially it on an EC2 instance. It's nothing but yeah, deploying on a VM. Once you are comfortable with this one, we'll introducing the Ansible. We'll create few playbooks after creation of Ansible. And through Ansible, we'll do the deployment. Why? Because we want to install the Apache web applica uh, Apache application server for that we are going to use the ansible playbooks as well as the jar file will deploy through the playbooks once you are comfortable with this setup we are going to introduce the nexus nexus is a artifacts repository whatever build happen that build artifacts will stored under nexus this time ansible can able to communicate with nexus and it takes that jars and deploy it into the ec2 once you are comfortable with the Nexus, we'll introduce the Sonar Cube. Sonar Cube will review your code and will give some static analysis which can help you for your developers. Once you are comfortable with this one, we'll introduce the Docker as a containerization service. How we have done the installation on VM, similar way we'll do the, sorry, deployment on a VM, similar way we'll do it on a Docker container by creating Docker file and Docker images. Once it is working properly, then we'll introduce the Kubernetes. We'll create a Kubernetes cluster and Kubernetes cluster by using Docker images will deploy the pods. After doing all this activity, we need to monitor our infrastructure. For that, we are going to introduce the Nagiads. So this is how we are going to set up our CI CD pipeline. Uh, this is a production ready CI CD pipeline. I have configured it for my uh, production environment. So I just want to share my knowledge with you guys. So I'm going to do this activity. It may take few weeks to complete this web series. So uh, please be ready to follow our web series. And uh, one more request. We, I'm putting a lot of efforts uh, to prepare this web series. So I would request you to please subscribe to our channel if you like our videos and also please recommend your friends to subscribe our channel and if you have any questions don't don't hesitate to comment in the below to this video. Thanks for watching this video and see you in next video. Have a great day.